Hi boys and girls, it's me Butch. My name is Terry David Silvercloud. I'm going to see if I can turn that sound down a little bit here somewhere. Give me a moment, I'm working on it. There it is. Oops, it's a bit better. I'm trying things out. <coughs> I. I am using uh, Open Broadcast Studio and uh, sort of testing things out. Uh, hasn't worked very well so far today. Uh, I'm trying to make it do too much at once maybe, I don't know. So, it looks like I am on camera. I think I am. So I'm going to put down the headphones and start talking. Um, today I have a bunch of things I could talk to you about, uh, but first of all, I am uh, Terry David Silvercloud, uh, Butch, and uh, <laughs> like I said, I'm learning how to use so OBS. I'm 80 years old. I'm openly queer. Uh, I don't have AIDS, but... I have heart problems and um, severe arthritis and lots of old injuries, so I'm in hormone and pain management both. So if you see these bandages on my arms, they're part of my hormone problems and I hope they're getting better. <coughs> Excuse me. So all you old dudes over 40, ask to have your hormones checked. I didn't find out until I was 68 and I'd gone through like about 10 years of issues that could have been fixed earlier. Um, it's not like they totally go away and that's why I'm in treatment for the rest of my life. So I go on and on like a dripping tap. So today's subject, what should I talk to you about? Since, since the uh, background video is I think tattoos uh, and saying what is real, uh, I've talk to you a bit about some of my theories because a lot of you just came here to see who is this old dude anyway and uh, me Butch <laughs> it's me Butch uh, so you just came to see who this old dude was or to check up on me I have no idea but thank you anyway thank you for all the subscribers thank you thank you <laughs> I still don't know why you come but thank you um, so I'm into physics I'm an artist at I'm a photographer by trade, and I paint. Um, but I'm going to talk to you a bit about neutrinos. Neutrinos are a theoretical particle that travel faster than the speed of light. And if you've listened to me before, I go on about these kind of things. And my feeling of how important the formula for the volume of a sphere is, the formula for the a volume of a sphere is, four thirds pi r cubed. So if you substitute the radius for the speed of light, unlike what Einstein did where he was dealing with vector forces. Vector forces are uh, uh, they're going one way, that's it. 
quantum physics deals with that by giving the elemental unit of energy three-dimensional qualities uh, so they talk about it like as a, a wave they give it let's not drift off because I'll yak on and on uh, but anyhow in quantum physics if you were to be able to reduce the universe down to one something or other and they were wall to wall top to bottom side by each uh, it doesn't matter how big they are or aren't they would still stack up like these uh, table tennis balls are doing in a box here side by each uh, touching each other on uh, you know top bottom and east west so one two three four five touching each other on six sides and the ratio of the space in between to the size of the ball would always be the same no matter the size of the ball because that's just the way spheres would stack up. <clears throat> it's a mathematical, you can't get away from it. it, it that, that's just the way things stack up. Um, so, uh, Butchie Poo's talked about this in some other videos and suggested maybe at that level it's a transition in between electrons and neutrinos. Uh, but if you get into tachyons, the theoretical particle, that's how it works even better. Because the tachyon has to be something, and you're viewing it by energy at the speed of light. And if it were actually creating those energies just by being itself, uh, that would explain a whole lot of things. So what camera am I on here? Am I on camera one? Oh, sorry. I thought I was on camera two. I'm supposed to be on camera two. There we go. Now I'm on camera two. Um, See, I'm still learning, and I have to be my own director here. Um, so with these um, tachyons, or electrons, you know, in quantum physics, <coughs> the electron is a point source, and at its minimal size, in lowest energy state, it's, it's uh, simply one quantum. And then it starts spinning, it's gaining more quantums. So a quantum is a unit of energy, it's the amount of energy basically required to make an electron change its whatever it's doing. <coughs> Excuse me. Got a wet me throat here. Should I try another camera? Let's try camera three for a bit. And uh, let's try camera four. You can see my space. Well, I wet my throat here. I'll just wander over and try to remember to switch the camera back. It's also kind of a sound test for me because I, I'm trying things up and now you're up there somewhere. There you are. I saw you. You're hiding up in a corner of my room. Um, so let, getting back to... Um, got to remember to change cameras, David. Here we go. Let's try camera two. That should be you guys right here. So viewing things at the speed of light, like light rays coming through my window behind you there and bouncing off of you at the speed of light, you're seeing here and here and here and here at the same time. This is arriving a bit sooner, but you don't notice. Uh, but how does this thing, the particle, or in this case, we're getting down to the smallest whatever, uh, the tachyon, how does this thing get to be here and there, and there and there, at the same time? Well, if it was a singularity traveling at 4 thirds pi c, cube where its radius was the speed of light that would that would that would make it work so when Einstein was busy dealing with the vector forces which is really you're only really worried about the blast wave that hits you <laughs> not the ones that went other places and hitting other things um, so it was a very good formula but if we're going to start thinking about energy all over the place because uh, everything is moving through space all the time. While you're watching me, you're moving at more than... It's a, I, I mix up kilometers and miles these days, but let's pick uh, miles per hour. You're moving at more than a, a million miles per hour through space right now. And, and Earth is making a wave motion through space, 
because it's chase it's chasing the sun the sun's there and it's you you think it's going around the sun and it sort of is but the sun's moving uh, about seven billion kilometers along with the Milky Way a year so earth is really just making a spiral through space so you know I meander but I'm trying to teach you things and for those of you that came to uh, check me out here I am um, maybe I'll do a few uh, I, think I, I said enough I'm just yakking basically and trying out this this particular little oops experiment uh, of trying to see what I can do with uh, uh, open broadcast uh, freeware, OBS Open Broadcast, OBS Open Broadcast Studio, no Open Broadcast Project. dot com, Open Broadcast Project. dot com for OBS Studio, and it's freeware, and uh, puts a little studio on your desk and. Uh, the fa my computer is probably just not fast enough to make everything work all the time, so I sometimes get jittery video or a jittery sound is because it's trying to I'm trying to make it do too many things at once. I think maybe I don't know. That's why I'm learning. <laughs> and so okay, that was it. Um, Want to remind you boys and girls to exercise. Uh, I'll be making more videos. Oh, um, the gob hats. Let's go to the camera. De. That's French for two. We Canadian. This is the. Uh, did I tell you the date? It's the 13th of March, 2025. We Canadians are at war with the United States. They've declared a trade war on us to try and take us over. So if we're seeing mean and nasty to the Americans, we are. Gloves are off. Sorry, guys. We're at war. Where was I? So, but I like the gob hats, the American sailor hat. I was a sailor. I was an officer in submarines, actually, in the Canadian Navy. So if you want to get a Dixie cup or a gob hat, uh, ORC, O-R-C, Industries, I-N-D, ORC, in .com. I'll put the, the link down below. You can get a gob hat from them. I guess there's a 25% tariff outside. If you live outside the USA, you can get a free mail forwarding address from a place like shipsy.com and so they'll you'll have an American address and they'll take care of getting it to wherever you are uh, if they have offices there if they don't somebody else may um, and the, uh, the swimsuit is from cheapundies.com I think it's a pool boy suit it was on sale so <laughs> I didn't need it it just looked cute <laughs> it was cheap cheapundies.com and uh, this is the necklace is uh, from H&M in the ladies department um, is that it? Butch is a queer boy he tries to look after himself he encourages you to look after yourself and now I'm going to go down and uh, put camera in my hand Duh. I'm going to go over there and wind this up because this is just a big test I started out with bright sunlight and then I had so much problems with the uh, making everything work that now it's not sunny anymore but here I am and I'm going to put the headphones on oh there I am I can hear myself <coughs> excuse me oh, I need a drink here oh that's better let's go to camera un. that means one and I need my glasses. I can't see you wear a dick in my old age. Did I sneak dick in there? Butch loves dick. He's an oral kind of guy. The bandages is... The echo is weird. The bandages are from uh, my hormone problems. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to figure out how to wave you out and all of that and say goodbye so you see bye bye and now I'm going to try and figure out how to make uh, things change here let's try this and I see it's interesting so if I went to there I could go like that I think 
maybe. See how that works. I have my screen. <laughs> it's hard with the headphones on. I have my screen down in the right corner there, and that's the sound you're hearing. This is he makes really good uh, screensaver and background video things, so you want to check that out. And now Butch is going to fade out here somewhere. Mm -hmm. 